Hi, this is Katina, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the Cantina Band. As an aside, my name is actually Katina, not Cantina, which autocorrect one thinks my name is, and two real people sometimes think my name is. So, um, <clears throat> just for clarification. I knew a lady that called me Cantina for about three years before she finally figured it out. It was, it was great. I stopped correcting. Those of us out there that have unusual names, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so <clears throat> Cantina Band. I'm sorry, not Cantina Band, Cantina Band. Um, it's hard to let go. So we're going to start here in E. And we're going to go to A, and we're going to go to E and A a lot. I actually transposed it so that you would have to go to E and A a lot because you're going to need to know how to play A with the side of your index finger. I see a lot of people, a lot of enthusiastic clarinetists that press A like a button. So you have to, in order to be able to do that, you have to take your whole hand off the clarinet and move it like that. It's very hard to keep a good hand position like that. The clarinet is designed as ergonomically well as they possibly could. So a lot of these keys are with the sides of our fingers. This includes the A. So you're gonna have a lot of them. Da, dee, da, dee, da, dee, da. Okay, so keep them as close as you can. And then after you get through all your E A's, you have an E flat to the E. And that's why I spent so much time talking about keeping a close hand position because you're going to be going fast with this one. The next section is going to go E, E flat, E, D. And then you're going to go to a D flat right here, back to the D, C, A. So that D flat, we know it is a C sharp as well. It's that key right there. So I'll play that whole section nice and slowly. What's nice is it repeats a lot. So. You're going to do it again. Changes right here. So you have two Ds, D flat, D, G, which is open, F, just in the back, E natural, D. So I'll play that little lick again too. Back to the EAs. You're going to be so good at this. E, A, E, A, E, A, E, da da. And um, I'll just play that. Oh, you know what? Let me show you this too. So I did show you the side E flat to the E. But you also can do a little fork right here, which I went for actually just now in the video. So E flat E. If I can, I will use this fork because it is fun. And also, if I have a D right next to it, it's pretty easy to play. I like keeping everything in one hand as much as possible too. The reason why I don't teach it that much outside of a chromatic scale is that it can be a trap. So if you're playing E flat and you need to get to a C, it's a hard move. So once you get through the, uh, the F and the B flat scales, <clears throat> um, you'll start having A flats and D flats and then it becomes a big problem. So it works here though. See what I mean? So if you're using, if you have an E nearby or a D nearby, it works really well. Even F, G, F sharp, open G. Um, but anything down low is going to be a problem for that one. Now you're going to go up to open G. So open G, right? Then E, D, C, a, right there. This section right here is going to go A, C, E, G. You're going to get up to a B flat, A, 
in the front. So B flat has the register key and the A key. Then A is just the front. And then you have E flat, E, C. <laughs> When you're doing that half note section, it sounds kind of good to smear that. Just some glisses in there, so you can use that as a spot to practice some glissing. Um, if it's still hard to gliss, you can uh, just do a little chromatic. So if you're familiar with the chromatic scale, a sentence kind of cool to put that in there. side F sharp right there which is just holding F and then F sharp so that's the whole opening theme to Cantina Band I am gonna put this up on Muse score I think I figured out how to use that this is so embarrassing um, but I'll have the sheet music it will go on to do the which just it repeats and, and then there's another other little theme so let me show you that second theme now because it's not hard. So you've got E, C, E, E, with your thumb in the back, C, E, E, C, oh wait, not E, E flat, then E, and then C, and then the A. <clears throat> so it goes like this. <laughs> right there. So that's where it changes. And then you'll go to a G. Back to the first part. E flat. Okay, I take it back. And then it is a little more complicated here. <clears throat> but we'll finish it up. Since I started it, we might as well keep on going. And then I'll play it all the way through. This might be one of those videos where you have to stop it and practice it and rewind it and practice it and stop it and practice it. And this might be one of those back and forth ones. <clears throat> so we've just gone through the low F is next. All right. So we've got a little F major arpeggio. F, A, C. And then we've got F sharp, A, C. And then we're back to that E flat E. And then you're landing on that A. You're going to stay on the A. And you have A, F. No, that's not an F. A, C, then an F, then an A. E flat. And land the C. All right. That ended up being much longer than I thought it was going to. So I will play it straight through for you. Please ask me any questions. I might have to break this video up a couple of times, but here's the Cantina bands. sideways. Anyway, I played it much slower than the tempo it should be at. I think I'm going to do another video on this one on how to speed it up. I'll spend more time talking about hand position too. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Hey, if you made it all the way to the end, will you comment? I made it to the end! In all caps! Use emojis. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.